That was a pretty good fit. Well, let's just check it out. It's a smaller size. See, that one's a little... It fits pretty good, too, but it's a little too small. So it looks like it's too big. I think about that one. Okay. Find a pretty small flame as you can. Take your hot glue. Hold your pad like this. One lick on there, maybe two if you think it needs. And then I take the key, stick it on there. I go pretty fast. Clean it up there a little bit. Now it's lumpy, so I'm going to take it and heave again. And I have my butter knife ready. I'm going to hold it to the side and just lick it two or three times. <laughs> Butter knife, push down. Need to heat it up more. Were these to go in the dirty rag bag? Right again. See how it moves around in there? Flatten it down. Pretty tight in there. Peel away any extra glue. It's a little pop. Okay, so now we're going to put the key back on. Slide it in there. Take the pin. Push it in a little bit. And take the screwdriver. Okay, so now we're going to reheat the pad while it's on the clarinet. So this is really important to have a small flame for so you don't scorch. Hold it like this so I can have control over what I'm doing. And we're going to use the side of the flame. I'm going to take a dowel rod, push down on here. And we're pushing really hard to make sure that there's a crease in the pad. And when I'm taking the heat on the key, I only let it on as long as you can kind of see the steam on the key. Let it fog up and then take it off. So I'll hold this for about 10 seconds. Do it again. Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do it again. Do 
it down right again. Push it down. The reason why this is important is because you want it to have a nice ring on the inside so that the hole is sealed against the pad. You can look here. It's not much of a ring. Just realized that I was on the wrong key, and this is why videos are cool. <laughs> so now that we're pushing on the right one, we'll actually have a ring. <laughs> It's going to be a really good seal on that back one though. <laughs> okay. So you can check it. It actually has a pretty good ring. You probably can't see that, but... Get a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a clamp and we're just going to leave it on there for about half an hour just to let it settle in itself. And you can keep working on different pads if you want to, but that one's done for now. And then check it and you put a light inside and look for any light peeking underneath the pad. It's okay if it glows and it has like a... Uh, iridescent look, but you don't want to see a line of light underneath that pad because that means it's leaking.